The Airbus A380 and Boeing 747 are two iconic giants that once ruled the skies as the pinnacle of long-haul travel. While the aviation industry has since seen many advancements, these double-decker aircraft redefined air travel with their impressive size, capacity, and range. Despite these two aircraft being formidable competitors in the industry, airlines have chosen not to play favorites and have operated both types at some point in their histories. Let's find out which ones for today's video. Now, this could obviously be a very short video, with us simply listing the airlines and leaving it at that. But of course, there's always more to the story when it comes to airline fleets, their histories, and their decisions to select certain aircraft. So, we'll definitely get a little more in-depth with each carrier and the story behind operating both aircraft types. The first airline we'll look at is French flag carrier Air France. In June 1970, the airline welcomed the Boeing 747 into its fleet, first flying between Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport and John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York. Over the next 46 years, the airline operated a total of 52 jumbo jets before high-maintenance costs drove them into retirement. The last commercial Air France 747 flew on January 11, 2016, with a service from Paris to Mexico City. For nearly seven years prior to the 747's retirement, the French flag carrier operated both the 747 and A380 concurrently, having received its first Super Jumbo in October 2009. The arrival of the Airbus A380 made Air France the first European airline to operate the type. The airline eventually acquired nine more A380s. Sadly, after 11 years in operation, the aircraft were forced to retire a little ahead of schedule in March 2020. This was due to the harsh impact of COVID-19 on the aviation industry. Japan's ANA, All Nippon Airways, is the next carrier we'll look at. At one point, the Japanese carrier operated as many as 46 747s in its fleet, including the Dash 100, Dash 200, and Dash 400 variants, used for both passenger and cargo transportation. It even operated the rare Japan-only 747-400D for domestic operations. ANA's first Queen of the Skies entered into service in 1978. For 36 years, the trusty wide-body jet served the airline until the last 747's retirement in 2014. As for the A380, ANA has three Super Jumbos. The first entered service in 2019, with service being abruptly suspended due to the pandemic. ANA is one of the carriers on this list that did not fly the A380 and 747 concurrently. Indeed, there's a five-year gap between the last 747 retirement and the A380's entry into service. Third is British Airways. In recent times, the flag carrier celebrated 10 years since the Super Jumbo entered the airline's fleet. At present, all 12 of British Airways A380s are still actively flying. The Boeing 747, on the other hand, met a different fate. The last American-made jumbo jet to fly with British Airways is in the process of being dismantled after accumulating more than 91,000 flight hours over 21 years. Its last flight took place on December 11, 2020. British Airways retired its 747s in 2020 while the first A380 arrived in 2013. This makes for a seven-year period where the airline operated both types. Etihad Airways is fourth on our list and is another airline that hasn't really operated the two types simultaneously. The United Arab Emirates carrier owns 10 A380s. Of these, CH Aviation states that only two are currently active, while two more are undergoing maintenance and the remaining six Super Jumbos are parked in storage. After more than three years of being grounded during the pandemic, the airline recently reinstated the A380 on its London Abu Dhabi route in July this year. As for the other giant aircraft, Etihad has never operated the Boeing 747 for passenger services. Indeed, it previously used a 747-400F and 747-8F with Etihad cargo. 
The jets, which were on lease from Atlas Air, are no longer flying for Etihad. It's a similar case for Emirates. The world's largest A380 operator had a fleet of leased 747 freighters between 2001 and 2017. Next is Lufthansa, Germany's flag carrier. The airline has been a proud operator of both the A380 and the 747, which formed the backbone for the airline's long-haul routes in the 2010s. The airline ordered 15 Super Jumbos in December 2001 and received the first on May 9, 2010, becoming the second European airline, after Air France, to operate the A380. In March 2022, after over two years in storage, Lufthansa announced that it would retire its entire A380 fleet. However, the decision was reversed in June 2022. Having resumed its A380 operations in recent times, Lufthansa has confirmed plans to keep its Super Jumbo fleet in service until the early 2030s. Lufthansa is one of the few airlines that still flies the A380 and concurrently operates the Boeing 747 to this day. The airline has eight remaining 747-400s and 19-8s. Having such a large 747 fleet, Plus, with its A380 service life extended, the airline is investing in a new business class cabin that will be retrofitted on both types. Qantas, Australia's flagship carrier, has had a storied history with the 747, a 49-year relationship that ended in July 2020. The airline received its very first A380 in 2008, and the type is still going strong in Qantas's fleet with 10 jets operational. Thus, between 2008 and 2020, Qantas operated both the A380 and 747 for passenger operations. The A380's presence at Qantas is set to change over the next decade. Airline CEO Vanessa Hudson recently shared that the Super Jumbo will be replaced by new generation aircraft like the A350-1000. Qatar Airways first acquired two 747s from ANA in 1995, with a third that came from Air Mauritius the following year. Sadly, the jumbo jet's life with Qatar was short-lived. All three were retired by 1998. This means Qatar Airways is another carrier that never operated the two types concurrently. The European-built double-decker has had a longer run in the airline's fleet, with eight of its 10 A380s currently active. However, the flag carrier is planning to phase them out as the Super Jumbos have been deemed too unsustainable. In fact, CEO Al Baka shared that the A380 contributed to the airline declaring a loss of more than $4 billion in 2021. Over in Asia, Korean Air and Asiana continue to operate both aircraft types. Korean has 10 A380s. At the moment, just half of these are active. Korean Air has 20 747s used for passenger and cargo transportation. Asiana Airlines operates 6 A380s and 11 747s. The latter are used primarily for cargo. Thai Airways operated six Airbus A380s, taking its first in 2012. The airline has also operated the 747 for decades, operating nearly 20 747-400s in the past 30 years or so. The carrier stopped operating both types in 2020. Malaysia Airlines also operated six A380s while also operating dozens of 747s over the years. The airline ended passenger 747 operations in 2015, while A380 services ended in 2020. And finally, Singapore Airlines also operates both giant aircraft types. The carrier has 14 A380s with 10 active, 3 in storage and 1 undergoing maintenance at the time of this video's production. The airline currently has 7 747 freighters and retired its last passenger 747 in 2012. With the airline getting its first A380 in 2007, Singapore Airlines had five years of concurrent A380 and 747 passenger operations. Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, 
visit simpleflying.com.